What is up everybody and welcome back to the next video in the bus build series where today is the day that we paint the bus. We're painting the bus. This color. Red? No, silly. I am sure that as you're watching this, some of you are going to be wondering why we chose to brush and roll the bus. Wouldn't you spray it? Those are two ways to do it. I chose to do it this way because I feel more comfortable doing it this way. The prep work and the masking and the taping is eliminated basically by doing it this way, which makes it just this process easier. Also, and here's the big kicker as to why I chose to brush and roll, is later down the road, if there's a scuff for a ding or a mark or a scratch, you just whip out your can of paint and your tiny roller and go, done, fixed. Looks clean, looks new again. Is it gonna look like it came from the auto body shop? No, because it's not supposed to. That's never been the idea or the goal or the intention. So yeah, it's gonna look homemade and, and hand done because it is. But the longevity and the maintainability of doing it this way is gonna make it so much easier and less hassle and less worry, you know? You ding it, scratch it, that's all right. Done, patched. So that's why I chose to do it this way. I can also take it easy, I can paint a section, go have lunch, come back, do some more. You know, it's not all one and done, shoot it like it would be if I was spraying. I also don't have to build a giant spray booth. So plenty of advantages to doing it this way. It won't look perfect, but that's okay. So today, right towards the end of my day painting, I just took a brush and I went <laughs> on a whole bunch of it because I had a lot of extra paint. So the first coat is done on two thirds of the bus. Um, up close, the first coat looks terrible, but what I found is that doing a really light, like slap dash, just throw it on layer, it's, it leaves a lot of yellow. But doing that makes rolling the next layer on much easier. And then you get a super clean, steady finish on the last top layer. We are starting what is hopefully our last day of painting. I took the bumpers off the front and the back so we could sand and paint those with a fresh coat of black. And there's a couple pieces of trim that we're gonna paint. And then everything's going back on. For the most part, the bus is done. There's a few patches and that's what Ev is gonna work on this morning. But hopefully we're done today. And that is that, everybody. The bus is not yellow anymore.
that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing us toil through that process. It looks so much better. It's so clean. Will there be scratches and dents and peels later? Sure, but we'll fix it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and following along. Share this video if you think it looks pretty cool with how we painted a school bus. How crazy is that? Don't forget to like the video down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.